Greetings, beautiful souls. It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sanja, and I am here again with another motivational soul healing video. If you're coming for the first time, well, please do press the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Today's video, we are touching on the law of reversibility. You are what you attract and you can attract what you are. We're going to be diving deep and expanding on that law. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just go straight to today's video. I really want to touch on what is happening in Congo because I know Uguti Sabanta Bamnyama is the Abantwana Bagantu, Noma Abantwana, Noma Abantu. We need to come together and make sure Uguti Inkinga or the problems that we tend to face are well spoken about we make the noise that is necessary and most of the time those news they don't reach where they need to reach you will not see these things on television on newspapers you will not hear them from radio stations right now as we speak millions of people are misplaced millions of people are no more there is a destruction that is happening due to some people who are greedy who want to mine something that is called cobalt in, in congo so basically, there is an Israel billionaire who, is use, who used his corruption ways to obtain Congolese mines where there is cobalt. And now he decided to sell those cobalt mines to a mining giant that is known as Glencore. So the same Glencore provides Tesla the cobalt that they need to provide its electrical vehicles. And they also provide this cobalt that they illegally mine from the Congolese land to companies such as Apple Company. This person is now getting something like $250,000 a day in a form of royalties for obtaining these mines illegally. 60% of the population of Congo lives in undescribable poverty. So this guy, he decided to invest those royalties. He decided to hire a Canadian construction company to build illegal camps in Congo. And these illegal incentives are in the West Bank. And this is where they accommodate these people who are doing the cruel things. Anytime they wish, they come and take any girl that they wish to take and they do their evil deeds with them. So we are pleading Gugutabandu who might be having Ama social medias, let's take Congo, let's hashtag Congo, let's talk about it, let's make noise about it, let's make our own noise because the places and the mass media that is supposed to be speaking about this are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. So we need to take charge and do that as Abandu so that we can free our own brothers and sisters from what is happening that is inhuman. Chances are this is also going to come to our own African countries as well and we're going to go back to square one where we're coming from. And we still have power, even if the power that we have, we need to use only the tip of our fingers. Let's do that. So in the description below, I'm going to leave the person who is on the ground of Congo. His name is Papi Orion. If you want to find his YouTube video, you can check the link down below as well as his TikTok. He's an active activist who is a freelancer and a filmmaker who is there trying by all means to make sure that they get enough donations and they are not even provided the basic essential needs such as water food shoes and clothing so we need to make sure we take least they get some clothes and remember we are talking about children here they are also part and parcel of this whole destruction that is happening so your assistance no matter how big or small it would be highly appreciated so today i wanted to talk about the law of reversibility this law is the most beautiful law because it's part and parcel of our day-to-day -day life the law of reversibility, it is based on the energy vibration or the frequency of your vibration that you're vibrating on. And it doesn't matter if it's a person in that vibration or it's an entity or if it's just an item or a thing. Remember, vibration or energy is in everything that we can see, that we can touch, that we can perceive. Because it, it exists, that means its existence needs to have some certain vibration for it to be physically viable or visible to us as human species. So I just want to touch on water for an example. We can have water in different formation. We can have water as ice. You can have water as steam. You can also have water as just water, the water that you know that runs. 
and water can take different temperatures that you decide to put on. So basically, this is one thing, but in different vibration. Water as ice and water as running water is the same thing, but vibrating in different frequency of vibration. So what I love the most about this law is that it teaches us that even us as human beings, we can take different forms of our state of being. And that state of being will be represented by its own frequency of vibration. And that frequency of vibration will attract things that attract, that vibrate with the same frequency. And that same vibration that we will find ourselves having will also attract things and situations, happenings and events of the same vibration. We also need to understand Uguti, even our own feelings, they produce certain vibrations. I know Uguti, when we have to go through our own feelings, sometimes we feel we are out of control because it's part and parcel of being a physical human being to go through those emotions. But those emotions also carry certain frequencies. That is why when you wake up, when you woke up feeling great about yourself, feeling great about the day that you are still about to have or the day that is still ahead of you, chances are you will also attract situations that are similar to how you were feeling because that's the vibration of how you started your day that tends to attract more things that vibrate similar to your own vibration that you have within yourself. So the law of reversibility is teaching us that the mass, mass can turn into energy and energy can turn into mass. What does this mean? This means that whatever that you feel within you, it can manifest itself into something that is there, that is there, that is perceivable. For an example, if you are somebody who holds grudges a lot in your life, you allow people to come into your spaces and they decide to mistreat you or they decide to show you disloyalty and over the period of time you find it hard to let go of what things that have been done to you or things that have been said to you you find it hard to forgive you go along with that energy that energy of how you feel about certain people about yourself about life as a whole can determine the type of energy that can form itself into mass that is why you'll find that people who have cancer simply because they have held in negative feelings within themselves for a long time to the point that they, the energy had to manifest itself from energy to mass, from energy to something that you can feel. Because you know, Guti Kenta is something that becomes like that dirt or that lump of some sort that is there, that is visible if you are using medical instruments or something that can be removable, something that can be flushable if it is detected earlier in life or earlier before it does or it spreads more or and do more damages within your body. So energy can turn into mass and mass can turn into energy. So it is because of that phenomenon that makes us have the inner standing yoguti. We truly do have the power within ourselves. When God decided to give us free will, it was not just going on its own. The free will was with abilities to manifest things that are non-existent and bring them into existence. We see this as evidence in our behavior as human beings, as animals and even plants and everything that lives under the sun that is nature. We know how to make and create our own images of our own selves, just like how most people believe that God also decided to create themselves, create himself. God decided to create himself using his own image and we are the result of that. So we are also the same gods in our day and age that are now able to come together and recreate people and recreate our offsprings. So what you are seeking is also seeking you. What you are looking for, it is also looking for you. So the best way to utilize the law of reversibility is to be this, the person who believes in this phenomenon, who believes that you are where you need to be for a purpose that is valid, for the purpose that is part and parcel of the purpose of your own life. If you wish to take advantage of the law of reversibility, you need to be somebody who believes that you do not need to chase anything in life that you are looking for, but you have to have an understanding, your guilty, everything that is deserving to be in your space, in your energy, in your inner cycle, it is something that needs to come to you because of the energy that will draw these things towards you because you already have the similar frequency of energy within you. If you strongly do believe 
in the mental pictures that you see when you picture your life and how you want it to unfold and you put in the efforts and the actions towards the belief that you have of who you think and believe that you are you will somehow without chasing anything attract those things to you they will come where you are that's how energy works that's how the law of reversibility works in most cases we are told and made to believe that when you want to achieve your goals you gotta chase your goals you gotta chase your dream you gotta make sure Guti, you wake up early in the morning you don't sleep because you're chasing a dream but the truth of the matter with the law of reversibility you gotta do the opposite you gotta walk and talk like somebody who already have the things that you believe you deserve and that you need you gotta behave as if they are already yours they are already here you gotta make yourself and money and manipulate yourself and brainwash yourself in seeing those things and being the person that you wish to see yourself becoming in the near future that's how the law of reversibility works everything that you may have been taught some of the things most of the things maybe everything you need to start scrutinizing it rethinking it rehashing about it questioning it and really just see it for what it truly is because this is what this law is teaching us Uguti, we don't need to do what most people have told us to do so according to science or according to scientists people who studied science they believe Uguti, there is a place that is called quantum field quantum field is a space and place where nothing physical in our own primitive way of perceiving things as human species exists but whatever that exists in that space it has to do with each and every energy that has ever been produced, created, manifested, and existing. Because energy does not die, but energy can only be transferred. So there is a place that is called the quantum field. Quantum field is a place where all frequency of vibrations are found. So that means this place exist in your mind in time and space meaning that it is able to perceive things that are being created in people's emotions in people's minds in people's the energies that they produce with their actions with their way of thinking with their way of living it is able to perceive energies that are done by other forms of nature and turn them into something that lives in a quantum field so people are able to access these energies from this particular place every time they decide to feel or act a certain way. So because the quantum field already exists with each and every kind of energy you can think of, it, it, that this means, basically this means for us as people, we have the ability to choose the reality that we choose to live. So your mind is capable of picking up at the reality that will suit you or the life or the kind of life that will suit you because it already exists in the quantum field each and every thought you have ever had each and everything you have ever thought of thinking or the words that you have ever uttered or the phrases that you have ever constructed and put together their energy of those words as spells because we spoke about how words also they work as spells and we use our own voices and vocal cords to create this vibration as we spell them out to cast spells for our own desired realities sometimes people do this when they are not aware that they're doing it but basically vibration all types of vibration live in a place that is called quantum field and in the quantum field there's each and every reality each and every human being is able to imagine the it is there it is in that space so meaning Guguti, each and everything that you desire that you wish for you are able to obtain it because it is already there in existence it's a matter of time and space before it comes into your own reality of being able to perceive it and touch it and feel it in its tangible state this is why it is very important to make sure that you are the type of a person every once in a while you go through something that is called affirmation affirmations are the things that are done or used by people who want to achieve a particular goal or who want to manifest a particular outcome out of their situation at hand using their own energies or manifesting or using or, ma or, or manipulating their own energies in order to find desired outcomes. 
I hope that this video did find you in good spirit. Again, my name is Princess Sanja and I appreciate you for being here today. I'll catch you again on Monday. Thank you so much for being here. Love and light. Take care.